Hey guys, welcome to this week's Cobra Camp and today we're going to touch on the topic of eating and how to eat to reduce your body fat. Now the first thing we're going to touch on is the basic outline. Calories in versus calories out. The amount of calories you eat in a day versus the amount you burn, that's going to determine whether you gain body fat or lose body fat. If you are burning more than you are consuming, then you're going to lose body fat. And if you're eating more calories than you're burning, you're going to increase your body fat percentage. Now, a misconception people have is that some foods are like free foods. So you eat them and it's safe because it's healthy. You don't get fat. fat. And the problem with that is every single thing you eat and drink has calories. Yes. So an apple has calories, cabbage, lettuce, pancakes, McDonald's burger, nuts, nuts um, <laughs> like literally every single every. thing that is food that you eat has a certain amount of calories and what your body does with calories is it uses them. However, if you have excess, it stores it as fat and it's going to store before it's, it stores energy, your body likes to store excess energy for later use and it stores it in two ways, one in your muscles and two as fat tissue. When you reach your capacity of how much you can store in your muscles, it immediately starts storing that excess energy as fats. On your hips. On your hips, your butt, <laughs> wherever your, your midsection, belly. your belly. So you need to have that outline down. You need to start consuming less calories than you are no you need to start burning more burning calories, more calories than, than you are consuming. consuming now i want to give you some simple tips you can use to achieve this in your everyday life without much stress the first one is you need to increase your water intake drastically and the reason for that is a lot of times we think we're hungry and it's because we're dehydrated so Thirsty. If you start hydrating yourself properly on a daily basis, you're going to notice that cuts your appetite a lot. And a good way to test like if you're hydrated enough is to use your urine. Every time you go to the bathroom as a rule of thumb, your urine should be clear. If you go at like 8 a.m. and it's clear, good, you keep drinking water. And then if you go at 12, you notice it's a bit yellow, then that means you need to increase your water intake for the day. So use that to determine how much water you drink on a daily basis. So that's rule number one. Increase that water intake. Secondly is your food choices and combinations. Right? A general outline. Protein rich foods. Foods that have a lot of protein which would usually be like your meats, eggs, um, beans, nuts. These are high in proteins. These foods are your best friend. So have more of these foods. And the second one... Well, not in the nuts. Nuts have well, a lot of fat. But <laughs> don't worry about that because we're going to get to that, right? Mm. The second one is fats. Now, if you want to reduce your calorie intake, you're going to have to either reduce your carbs or reduce your fats. If you try to reduce both of them at the same time, you're going to be starving yourself of quick energy and your body is not going to function and you're going to be really hungry. very well and you're going to be very hungry. hungry. <laughs> so you either have to reduce your fats or reduce your carbs. However, in my opinion, reducing your carbs is a lot easier, easier. and it's a lot more effective and that's because Fats take longer to digest than carbs, so the energy release from fats comes in stages. So your body is not in a stage where it has excess immediate energy that it wants to store as much as if you're consuming a lot of high carb foods. And carbs are separated into two groups, starchy carbs and fibrous carbs. Now, most people on a daily basis consume a huge huge amount of starchy carbs. carbs and that's a big problem and that's why a lot of people find their body fat going up, 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 up 
and starchy carbs would be like your bread, your rice, your pasta, pasta. Mac potato, and mac and cheese. <laughs> These are all examples of starchy carbs. And if you want more and you want to know if what you're eating is a starchy carb, you go in Google, you type in, is this a starchy carb? And you should find an answer. Now, what I want you guys to do is, for example, if you're eating three meals a day, in two out of the three meals, I want you to replace replace your starchy carbs with fibrous ones. Fibrous carbs are like your fruits, veggies, beans as well could fall on the fibrous carbs. They're very high fiber and cereals, grains like oats and so. These are all on the fibrous carbs. If you want more examples, again, you just type in Google list of fibrous carbs and you start making choices from that list and in two of your meals replace all your starchy carbs with fibrous ones and you're gonna find fibrous carbs have a lot less calories than starchy carbs and the energy they release is released over a longer period so you end up storing less yes. energy as fat so increase your water intake replace your starchy carbs with fibrous carbs and you should be well on your way to a reduction in your body fat percentage. She, I have put my mom on this general base <laughs> outline. She has lost like around 16 pounds, give or take. I've put chart stuff on this outline <laughs> and she has lost around 6 pounds, give or take yeah. so far. And guys, a lot of people might complain, oh my gosh, I don't want to stop eating this. I love rice too much. I love pie too much. Hey. You, you don't really have to. You do. Again, it's... <laughs> it's balance. <laughs> it's about balance. You just reduce your portions of it and replace it with a different type of fibrous sure. carb. And you eat your fill of fibrous carbs as opposed to eating your fill of starchy carbs. And if you're not ready to just make small adjustments like this, then that's okay. But you can try other things like... Uh, like switching your sweet tea or your drinks with your foods for that's, water. Just, that's the thought. That's really point, easy. Right? It's really simple. It doesn't take a lot of effort. Just drink water drink instead water. of tea or soda, whatever. Avoid drinking sugar. sugar. So it might be a good idea to reduce like juice and Pepsi and beer and so because that's really a waste of and it's a, calories. You can get like a reward for that. like. For all the teas you don't drink during the week, you can have a slice of cake. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but don't drink sugar, so increase your water intake, replace starchy carbs with fibrous ones, and avoid drinking sugar. sugar. I think you okay? said that already. So those are three <laughs> things, basic things you could follow. They're not huge adjustments to make. and you'll be well on your way to reducing the body fat percentage. And guys, remember, okay, if you're not okay with just making small adjustments in your eating patterns, then start making a change within yourself to be comfortable in your skin and comfortable with your body fat, wherever it might be, okay? But if you would like to change it, then hey, it's not so complicated. <laughs> it's not so complicated and something has to give. So I hope this video was helpful and anything you're not clear on, you can just comment below and ask and I'll try to do another video. I'll just respond to you in the comments. Thanks for watching Cobra Camp and remember to like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.